Yeah. They, the mob was around, weren't they? The mob wasn't around. Wasn't the mob? Didn't they have access to guns? What was the mob doing in the communities? They had access to guns. Trust me. They, they didn't have. They didn't have. It's it's our culture. They it's right. Our culture. So guns around. Guns it's our around. culture, but to blame it on on lack of Christianity really? is silly. It's absolutely silly. <laughs> if you think that that's that that's what's leading to all these killings, that that's, that's, that's one. That's just one thing out of many. Well, I, I like one that's out of many. Bad. Like me. Godlessness. What is it then? It's not that. It's not godlessness. Well, first of all, we have access to to all kinds of weapons, and we live in a country where we can need to glorify God, uh, violence in this country. We glorify violence. We absolutely glorify violence. We're we're a country that believes that war is like the greatest thing that can happen. We support all of these wars and all of these actions and in all of these other countries. And Christian we are constantly bombarded with visual images of violence. And guess what? You Hollywood watch is not run by Christians, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Hollywood well, is run by Satanists. Yes. I'm telling you why I and, think that there's an Lucifer increase in killings. I'm telling you why I okay, think that so there's an increase. Okay, so if it's Hollywood's fault, and I agree with you, that's a big part of the problem because it's brainwashing our society. What about video games? We should be games? protesting the yeah. Luciferians. What about video games? Video games. Come that's on. What about video games? Well, they're not Christians that are running I'm not going to put it in all on video games. Let's create a video game with Ted Wheeler in it. Grand Theft Auto, Ted Wheeler version. Come on, everybody. We all have a FEMA camp waiting for us somewhere. Let's do the Grand Theft Auto, Ted Wheeler version. How about everybody not talking at one time? Jesus was killed by the state. I'm not talking. I'm just fucking high on fucking caffeine. This is fucking blathering. I got a place to be. I'm blathering. I'm not talking. God bless you. Thank you. So this is that's how you that's how you break up a very situation in the streets of your city. You guys, <laughs> <are bad. laughs> you guys just go in there with a sense of humor. Remember, hashtag so. Give me some verses. Give me some Bible. Give me some verses and back up your state. We can wait for that. Upper middle class because he spoke many languages and carpenters in Jesus' day. What was the argument? Damn it! The, the circle, the ring is moved. They moved. I'm gonna be back in the circle. I just said that when people ask me why I'm here, I never answer. Because I don't have to say why I don't do it. Just acknowledge that kids is trying to pay his bills. You don't have to. I don't want to judge. You can, and we can bring more people to Jesus if we feel involved. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Eli? Eli, is that your case? Yeah, sitting on the floor. Is that yours? I have to drop my case. Hey, those are, words, those are words you wish they'd you hear, huh? You see my priorities. <laughs> nice pink string. This is uh, Robert West showing his homophobic, uh, being homophobic. The last live stream that we ever uh, did together, he was talking about being afraid of transsexuals so. raping him. Again, I stick to the facts. Bullshit! Well, you fucking zero 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 eight 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 and they did it. You're so full of shit. Are you really here to sit here and say that? I'm standing here. You walk right in the main. I'm the very second camel. See you walk Good, good. So if you do, hold the stone, right? You're trying to fight me, Robert? No one's trying to fight you, Robert. Can you back up off me, bro? Like, on everything I fucking love, I swing at God. Try to annoy me. I need them to back up. Bro. You make unwanted contact you're, with you're me, sitting there, You're sitting there turning yourself into me. Oh, come on. So, so why do you like beating up elderly ladies? Why, why do you hit, uh, why, why do you rush into Dorothy Elmore like you did? See, everybody, why this is, is what Robert West does. Why is it, why is it In the beginning of the live stream. Women? Why is it you stalk black women? You're, you're being charged with three counts of, of violating anti-stalking order. I don't What's respond directly That's to right. sex offenders. That's right. You don't. You don't respond. You don't respond to nothing. You have nothing to say. You're guilty of it. You're a stalker. You're a, you're a predator. Uh, I, I thought I was a stalker. I'm the one who can make it a stalker so far. Come on. I'm the real, I'm the real stalker. I stalk and they can't. They're all pieces of shit. You, you like them? That's not my experience. I'm not Jesus. You are completely opposite. I'm not Jesus. Beliefs of what I have. I'm not Jesus. I'm Eli. Not knowing what I stand for. So you're okay with the whole communist country? Yeah. Fascist. Yeah. Country with a whole bunch of authoritarian leadership. That's what you like. Nice, I like that. 
And here is the result of peaceful birth. Peaceful birth of a bunch of people. Pedophile run city where Ted Wheeler and the Attorney General. Everyone hangs out with Terry B. plane. This yeah. is like nothing compared to what we see on the spiritual plane. 
This is like a drop in a massive bucket of what we would see on the spiritual plane if we can see it, okay? There's nothing but love and goodness and grace on the spiritual plane, okay? And what we're experiencing down here is all for us to learn and grow and elevate ourselves as spirits to get to that level eventually, okay? And every single one of you standing up on a daily basis or even on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, but every single time you just stand up and raise your vibration a little bit more, raise your frequency, raise your, your ability to love and receive love, it'll just take you higher and higher and higher in that spiritual plane that we're all really striving for. I mean, we're just humans having a very temporary spiritual experience. And it's so temporary that once, once we're gone from here, it's gonna be like we took a nap and woke up. Yeah. That's it. So what, we're, what we do as spirits from the inside out is massive. It counts so much more than just, ooh, I, you know, I'm being human. I'm living in this human realm. I, you know, I need food, I need money, I need this, I need that. What you do to elevate your spirit and to grow love towards other people is what's going to count when we get to the other side. Do you guys believe that? Yeah. That's right now, before I was, before I was spiritual, before I saw Jesus and I really see, I actually physically see Jesus, before I saw that in my life, I had so much hate in my heart. I would hate on everybody. I would give people dirty looks. I was so judgmental. I thought everybody should behave a certain way. And now I know that Jesus, he has shown me people and humans through his lens. And what he would want, it's almost like if you had a brood of billions of your own children. Bill, imagine if you just had billions of your own children. I did. <laughs> and what you would want for each one of them. Even if they were misbehaving, you would love them. Even if they were sinning, you would love them, right? Yes. No matter what, you would love each one of them. All the billions of them, okay? And you would just want them to, no matter what happened to them, you would want them to get back up and try again. You'd want them to get back up and fight another day. You'd want them to get back up and love thy neighbor and love thy enemy, regardless of what other people are doing to you. Right? Because it doesn't matter what comes at you. It matters what you put back at them. So you can transmute, okay? All of the anger, all of the hate, all the negativity that, that comes at us as patriots, as Christians, you can transmute that by just letting it fall away from you and projecting love back at them. Are you guys able to do that? Do you think you can do that? We don't have a lot of hate here today. This is this is amazing. I prayed over this event today. I prayed all morning. And we don't have a lot of hate here today, here today. But in your daily life, on Facebook, I know that we're all getting hate for spreading the truth. On Facebook, on Instagram, anywhere we spread the truth, we're getting hate. So what, I, what I'm gonna ask and pray for all of you to do is to transmute that hate, to take it, let it fall away from you, and to project love back on anybody that is projecting hate. And that is the way that we are gonna spread more love in this world because if you fight hate with hate, it just generates more and more hate in a bigger way. And that is not gonna make our Father proud, and that is not gonna elevate us to His frequency, which is the frequency of love and joy, and that's the only frequency that we are trying to get at as human beings. Do you believe me? Yes. Amen. You see it? All right, you guys, let's do this. Amen, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, my we're gonna do a, Thank you, sir. Hey, we're going to do a live stream where we get homeless people. Money. How, how much money you got? That was really I don't know. <laughs> 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 we're going to go do that. I saw you on. You just had to talk to her first. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm not here. Sober October's over. So this is like the only opportunity. <laughs> 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 Wow, <laughs> 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 <laughs>